Hello and welcome to another episode of Creator vs. The Game! I just love my sound, you know me. Hello, I'm Toy, I'm the, I will be the director for today's episode. Uh, real quick, if you're here, we are live, so make sure to send us your comment down in the comment section. Uh, oh, we already have someone, hello, hello! <laughs> Hello, Gerard. Thanks for being with us. Um, what is real quick? I'm the director, and what is Creator vs. the Game? It's a web series, so make sure to follow us on our social media and Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And um, today we will have some special game designer that will play their own creation. But the idea of uh, Creator vs. the Game uh, starts always with the two minds behind it. Uh, let me introduce them so we can start this live episode. Uh, this will be the long version, uh, so stick with us uh, if you're gonna see, if you want to see the struggle that is playing with so many people online, uh, especially in a secret identity game. We will reveal it later. And um, we will have a special highlight episode coming pretty soon after this will end, so make sure to follow us on our social media, okay? Hello, Paolo says. Hello, 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 Paolo. And uh, oh, let me just say also this English is not my first language. And uh, for most of the people you're gonna see today, it's not their first language. So be patient with us. And uh, for added bonus, try to watch this with uh, automatic closed caption uh, enabled because it's very, very interesting. So without further ado, let me introduce the first genius, evil genius, evil scientist that create. Uh, Creator versus the game, actually, and he is the man in white usually, but today he is not in white. And I blame only the weather for this. But he was uh, he was planning to have the scariest Halloween costume ever, so he just went out dressed up as a railroad challenge expansion pack. Let me introduce you, ladies and gentlemen, Mister <laughs> Yalmar Hack. <laughs> Or should I say the highs of Yalmar? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Yalmar. Hello, Yalmar. Boy, these applause are long. I, I need to cut that. I need to cut the sound. I need to cut the sound. Hello, welcome, Yalmar. You're not in white today. No, actually not. I Is have this some part stripes. of your strategy? Yes. I'm trying to <laughs> wear clothes like, like Lorenzo to, so I can lose the games we play. You know? Oh, already, already <laughs> with the backstabbing, like like five minutes in, we are already making fun of it. Okay, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> there is another person behind the concept of Ghetto versus the game, another evil genius, and you know, you know his name, and uh, <laughs> he recently celebrated his birthday, and I personally know his only wish was, please, let me win. Just once. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you, Mr. Lorenzo Silva. Hello, Lorenzo. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Okay, in, in two minutes, I already two jokes about my, my great yes. gaming abilities. Okay, yes. very good. <laughs> We're off to a good start here, okay? <laughs> Yalmar, I hope I will not be in team with you so I can <laughs> kill you. Yeah, <laughs> or... Or you run know, from if him. It happens, depends. If it happens, okay. if it happens, it will be my gift to you for your birthday. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. That's, that's really appreciated. <laughs> okay, I understand we have some special guests. Well, we always have some special guests, let's be honest here. But do you want to introduce them for me? Because I have no idea. L like usual, I have no idea ever. But in yes, this case I, I, in I will introduce them. Okay, Yalmar. They are all old friends from from the beginning of uh, my my career in the board game industry uh, actually when i was in chronic Cre creation uh, we made uh, our second game was uh, escape from the aliens in outer space that is the game that we're going to play and we have here all the santa ragione team and oh, we no, have... I have I have many buttons to press, so let's, okay, let's do we it have one by one. Pietro. Hello. Hello everyone. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Nicolo. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I have to find him. Yeah, correct. Right. Hello, Nicolo. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> 
Hello, everyone. <laughs> Luca. Hey, this is like a. Hi, all. Everyone. Hi there. And Mario. Dexterity game. Oh, hello. Last but not least. Hello, everybody. You get the full it's applause. Very hard for me because <laughs> because they have they have nicknames and I, I usually call them with their nicknames. But today I have to to if you, if you if you hear me call them with strange names, don't be surprised. And do you want to explain us a little bit uh, what what you are? You are um, a group of designer. You are a company. You are both and. All right, so where to start? Um, so yeah, Santa Ragione is the name of our uh, studio, uh, which we founded in 2010. And uh, we're, we're mostly a video game company, but we started off making this board game uh, with you guys back in the day. That's a, this is actually our 10th anniversary of the publishing of the game. So when, it, when we first launched it together, it was 10 years ago. And so we thought it would be cool to, to play it again. The great way to celebrate. And um, so the, the, the history goes that um, uh, me, uh, Nicolo, Luca, and Mario, uh, we, we used to hang out a lot at the time. And uh, me, Luca, and Mario used to go to the same design university. And so we spend a lot of time uh, together thinking about ideas and thinking about projects. And we all, all kind of wanted, and I guess the idea came out to make a game together. So we kind of like, we, we took some time after class, during class, to sketch down ideas, and eventually that became um, Escape from the Islands in Outer Space. And so, so to, we, we, you could say that we funded the company, me and Nicola funded the company so that all of us could you know, have a contract and properly you know, put it to market. So that was the origin of our okay. studio, really. OK. Cool. And the game we play today is uh, your first board game, and it's called Escape from the Aliens in Outer Space. And uh, yes. pretty it's, subtle, pretty subtle title, I'd say. You know, you're, you're not sure what you're in for when <laughs> with a game like that. I, um, I, you see it and you wonder, hmm, I wonder what is this game about? Gee, you, you, they only, you know, they only did it for, they only did it for the acronym. Ftios. Oh yes, <laughs> it's yeah. just wrong out of the tongue. Yes, <laughs> with the teeth and the saliva and, and everything with it. <laughs> It's okay, can I just can I just take back? Movies, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I it's, just it's an homage to '80s sci-fi movies, which, well, as everybody knows, uh, probably in this uh, business, or if you're passionate about games and board games, you know they had this like very long and very strange titles, and, the, yeah. and <laughs> they were extremely like mm, easy to understand and and and. And a spoiler. As, as yeah, <laughs> but, but I think I think it's a great title. I I loved it from the first time I heard it, and <laughs> and we are gonna play it virtually, from what I understand, on Tabletop Simulator, which is it is it, this is a special in uh, internal version for us, right? Yeah. yeah. Let me just put it on the screen right here. Okay. Oh, we have. We have already someone that says, well, Paolo, actually, you are all very handsome. Yes, thank you, Paolo. <laughs> thank you, Paolo. <laughs> thank you, Paolo. Thank you. You too, Paolo. <laughs> and, Ger and Gerard says, I love the game ever since I heard about it from SUSD, which is another acronym. Uh, I had no idea where it comes from. Shut and up, and Shut up and Oh, yeah, down. of course, of course. You all so know my, so much. I have never know anything about it. Subsequently, bought it because of their enthusiasm. Such a good game. Well, thank you, Gerard. I'm sure the guys will appreciate. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, I have uh, spooky music. Great. Oh, wow. nice. Yes, just just to Great. just to in, to put you in the mood. Okay. As always, we will not explain the rules because yes. uh, we are here just to play with the um, with the creators of the game and and talk about development and every nice story that is behind the the creation of this game uh, but ju just to give an idea in general it's a hidden um, uh, identity oh. game yeah hidden role game 
we will we are uh, on a spaceship right what's the story we are on on a, on a spaceship <laughs> and we have to to survive <laughs> if, if we can be humans or aliens and if we are humans we want to uh, run away we will start from from the human starting point that is uh, the that that symbol with uh, I don't know that's how to describe. <laughs> that's good design. A very weird U for you. Yeah, a very exactly. Um, doesn't start with a U. It's for human. <laughs> yes, but that, it doesn't start with a U. I know, but it is with an H. Well, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. And uh, and the humans have to reach one of the four exits that are those um, places numbers? with with numbers. One, two, three, and four. And if you are alien, uh, you will have to find and kill the humans before they escape. So we will be divided into teams. We have no idea uh, what will be the teams. So I just hope not to be in the same team as Yalmar. So. <laughs> yes, we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, we, we take one card each, yes. guys. So, Oh, Pietro, I have a suggestion for a possible sequel here. Hear me out. Yes. Don't let the human escape in outer space. How do you like it? This, that's really good. Please send it to our email, <laughs> spam. Yes. At oh, is that spam? <laughs> S-P-A-N. Thank you. Yes, I'll make sure to send it. <laughs> okay. So, um, check your power if you... Um, because every character have a has a different power. Make sure to remember it. And folks at home that will follow us uh, will be blind to this. So you will not, will not be sure who is who in this game, like me, because I'm just watching here. I'm human. Okay. <laughs> yes, that, that sounds something like an alien would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm totally human. <laughs> okay, during the game we will use this this uh, hexagons, colored hexagons to to remind where every sound um, we produce during the game. Okay. All right. So who who starts? Oh no, I don't know. From the manual, who goes first? Last person who's <laughs> really? in the spaceship. Really? Uh, are we checking the rule? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, already, the already checking the manual. Okay. Someone's written this down. Was it, wasn't the youngest person? Yeah, the youngest person. The youngest person, yes. Who's the youngest? It's me. Yalmar. It's me. Yeah, let's find out. <gasps> Is it? It's me. Well done, yeah. Yalmar. Yes. Congratulations. You look very young. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so human okay. moves one space, aliens can move one or two space. Uh, we will mark our movement on um, on, on, on paper. Oh, yeah, like this. We have the same map. We will write every round where we are. Okay. So, Yalmar? Yes. No down. So I moved. I moved. There is silence. Silence. You can't hear anything. What? Silence. So, so, so uneventful. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's kind of <laughs> what well, walking you... <laughs> around is. <laughs> so you moved into a wide uh, space, right? Yeah. Okay, because you didn't draw a card. Okay, who is the second youngest here? No, yeah, no, let, 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 I... let's go in clo clockwise order. Right. So it's a pink one, uh, Pietro. Yeah, I'm pink. Um, all right. All right, let's do this. Oh, no. Wait. Nicolo is I'm moving into a dangerous hard. sector. Ooh. Which okay. one is it? I'm moving into a dangerous sector. Uh, every and... gray sector is a dangerous Oh, sector. Well, that's a pretty shitty and... spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? And you hear a noise in 
M08. That's, that, that's so not true. M08. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so it's my turn, right? Okay. Yes. So what is it? Is it like just empty like, uh, can of paint all around the spaceship, or just or something like that? You know, towers yes, of cars it's... that fall down. What, what is that makes it dangerous? It's uh, dry it's... leaves on the floor that crackle oh. as you step on them. <laughs> so it's on me. Uh... <laughs> the typical like dry leaves. Yes, that dry leaves. That sounds like something you can find actually on a spaceship. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's uh, typical. Yeah. Yes. K so we heard another eight. noise over there, yes. Yeah. Nicoloto knows. Nicolo Nicolo is an alien. Probably. Could be. Well, he just stepped out from Not. the alien uh, <laughs> starting point, so I, I think that might be. Okay, it's my turn, and uh, uh, you. It's uh, I'm in a safe sector. No, li no dry leaves for you. Yeah, no dry leaves. <laughs> I think it's my turn now. Yeah. Uh, wait a second. How I'm still I'm maybe running. how to drag this card here. Here we go. Maybe I can talk a little bit about how the concept of the game started. Sure. Yeah, let's sure. hear it. Uh, well, as it might be obvious, but uh, the main idea comes from Alien, the movie, of course. And the idea behind the game was to reproduce this... Mario's turn. Yeah. This, this environment and this uh, kind of a anxiety and fear sensation. So the game is not really about the mechanic itself, but it's designed to generate anxiety in a certain way in players. So that's the, 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 the main objective of the, of the game. And initially, uh, we were planning to have two different overlapping maps because we wanted the aliens to move inside air conduct, like it happens in the movie, you know? And the, the alien is always like somewhere that it's not the actual corridor of the ship. It's, yeah. it's an air... Mm, system right. or stuff like that and the humans could only move into the the corridors of the ship and so uh, but sometimes these two maps overlapped in in places where one could uh go into the map of the other and th this this was the main cool. the original the original concept that then eventually became uh this 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 single map with with different tiles and dry leaves and dry leaves <laughs> a lot of them and lot also of the folks leaves. at home are very suspicious about dry leaves on a spaceship yes yes we, we all are but that's the universe what you can say you, know? you don't go around criticizing star wars because they have lightsaber we have dry leaves that's it <laughs> it's canon yes now it's canon <laughs> it's canon yes <laughs> is, is it yelmer's turn yeah yeah ah, okay so, uh, hmm. 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 Okay. <laughs> yes, hmm. <laughs> do you want to do any, any other uneventful noises? <laughs> so, Luca made a noise in N6, correct? Okay, All right, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 Luca, Luca did not make a noise in N6, Luca what? declared a noise in N6. Okay, oh, Luca no. declared a noise. Great difference, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you, Luca. <laughs> Okay, I think that we, we can we can proceed uh, playing and we can we can talk in in the meanwhile. Just when someone say silence, uh, everybody is have, have, have to Inside. interrupt the others. Otherwise, I think that with this with this hexagons, it, it's quite easy to to follow the game yes. without without yeah. talking too much. So yeah. I just, I just wanted to ask. Uh, so uh, every inspiration of the game basically came from from movies because uh, the title, the, the the gameplay, you research um, uh, a mechanic um, that was a feeling more than 
uh, than, than a specific uh, gameplay. It, it's it, everything. What I understand is that everything was more um, a research to find a specific feeling that came from the movies, right? And from horror movies, obviously. <laughs> is yeah, anyone going yeah, to answer that? Who's going to take this? <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's exactly what it is. Keep in mind, uh, none of us are uh, seasoned board game players. Like we, we I, I, I wouldn't want to say that we've never played a board game. We've never played a board game before making this one, because of course we did. But we were certainly not, none of us, correct me guys if I'm wrong, but none of us was into board games or like very knowledgeable or very passionate about board games. It's my turn. Sorry, I'm speaking. <laughs> no, yeah, no, uh, it's your turn or I did, it's my, didn't it's I my have turn. to move? Ah, it's your turn. Okay. No, it's my turn. No, did you, did you move? Did you do no, your turn? No, I didn't move. I didn't move. I then wanted to tell turn, you. Man. I wanted to, you were talking, you were talking, you didn't sorry, stop talking. Sorry, sorry, go on. <laughs> no, okay, go on. so uh, I will move, I will move and not produce any noise. Hmm. Silence again. Okay, two silences. Ah uh ha -huh. uh -huh. Gollows. And Gerard, which is one of our <laughs> APS fan right now, says, are you getting plays with special power? Yes, from what I understood, yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, he, he noticed oh. sound in space. <laughs> we don't have sound in space, of course. This is a physical, accurate, accurate board game, of course. Yes. But dry leaves, okay, yes, I'm, dry leaves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a card. Okay. Okay. So, Lorenzo, uh, uh, I like yeah. that you and, said... And uh, silence. Uh, oh. 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 It's Nicolò. Sorry. You go. Tell me, tell me, Toy. Yes, I was saying that we heard this before from Guy, of, the author of um, Super Skill Pinball. He also said that he doesn't start creating a game from mechanics or uh, or, con or basic concept, but he wants to create a feeling, to give the players a feeling. So I, it's an interesting connection, I, I'd say. Yeah, usually they're, they're in, in game design, uh, usually th there are mainly t two ways to, to start to work on, on a board game, at least, uh, I think, uh, from, <laughs> from, from, yeah, w w one way is, is you have a mechanic in mind and, and then you, you develop the mechanic and you try to, um, to dress that mechanic in the best way possible. And another way is to, is when you want to, to create uh, a specific, um, situation or a simulation or of something that can be a feeling or or actually a simulation and in in this process is is the opposite because in this way you have to find the the best mechanics that fit on on the theme so mm -hmm. it's it's a different approach completely different approach i think that both of them work very well it's my turn it's your turn. I draw a card, and it's silence. What? Mm. Very lucky, what guys. Is, uh... Very lucky. So, um, uh, okay. Okay. I draw a card. Let me guess. Let me see. Let's see the bluffing face of Lorenzo here. <laughs> <laughs> Live. Okay. Liar. I am in J06. I am. You hear uh, noise you are. from. You are. Sh shut up. There. Shut up. I'm there. <laughs> shut up. All right. They my didn't turn. sound I'm drawing very much convinced. I'm drawing a card. <clears throat> And I'm declaring a noise in I08. What? What? I, I'm gonna, let me drop the I08. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Here we go. There, down there. Yeah, stay there. So you're already right there. there. I'm right there. Really yes, there. Yes. That's where I am. You're such yeah, an alien. <laughs> and you're so close to me. <laughs> Yeah, because so close they can almost smell it. 
<laughs> okay, I'll draw a card too. And I'm in zero, no, O zero eight. O zero eight. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Mario is O nice. zero eight. So it's very easy to see this uh, orange red part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the difference is it's, it's really <laughs> remarkable. It's really a lot of <laughs> okay, one of the color option options was white, and I'm I'm glad that no one took it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one took it so far. So far. <laughs> Don't despair yet. I met uh, people saying uh, recognizing an alien is pretty easy. They they are pink like humans, just a little shade different, like just you know <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no idea. Let's let's just say if they don't have a beard, they are suspiciously looking like an alien here, okay? <laughs> yeah. Who's the turn? It's my turn. It's your, it's your turn. turn. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys from Santa Ragione, hear me out here. Gerard says, My player have the feeling that they are sitting ducks, but the same hopelessness fear is on the both side. I love that it feels unbalanced from both sides, elevating the fear and tension. So was uh, was it balancing an issue during the development of the game? Yes. <laughs> 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 That's the right answer. Did I touch yes. <laughs> was that a nerve? Was that a nerve that I poked out? <laughs> yes, next next question. <laughs> <laughs> Cigarette, now you make them angry yeah. at me, of course. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Go, go, Mario. Say, 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 say what you yeah, have to say. Yeah, it was quite difficult to be in balance here also because you want to keep the tension high and you want to try to have as much as possible this idea that everybody is uh, invisible to the other, what they actually are. And uh, also, at the beginning, the idea in our first prototype uh, to try to do so, we had a huge amount of card to draw from uh, to the different uh, uh, sector. And actually, at the beginning, we had like 300 cards in our deck or something like that. Wow. Yes, I heard that. Yes. yes. So actually, that connected with the fact that uh, you want to keep as secret as possible the identity of everybody and just play on it also talking while you're playing uh it made it really difficult to have a balanced deck of cards that can allow you to do that so yeah so for um, my turn you you hear nothing oh my god but, but, okay. I, do, but I drew a car i drew i drew a uh, car. okay uh, okay i know exactly where you it's are silence <laughs> i have no idea where it is going. interesting to um I think it's interesting to, to talk a little bit about the, the the volume of the cards we had because that was before we met um, was before we met Lorenzo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it was clear that we had no uh, experience in the production, and when we when we. Sh sh uh, played the prototype with Lorenzo, one of the first things that came out was, guys, you cannot have this amount of card <laughs> in this game. <laughs> and we, we, we were really poor at the time. Also. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. We are still poor, oh, man. man. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not about the money. It's about the games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that it then started a, a big work to to rebalance the game, to to find a way to have it with just what what was fifty four cards in the end? Yeah, fifty four, fifty two, or fifty four. Fifty two, I think. So, but in the, the original version, it was uh, um, items were not shuffled in with the noises. It was a separate deck, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. on each noise card, you would get an icon, maybe that will let you draw an icon card. So you could reshuffle uh, item items after you've used them, and that would reduce the amount of cards that we needed to print. 
considerably. That was, a, that was a very good idea, design idea, I think. Yeah. Nico, it's your turn. Is it? Did Pietro play? Yeah. Yes. yes. I did play. I made a noise in 0 Oh, zero, and let me remind the folks at home, if you're watching this, we are live, so make sure to drop your comment down below in the comment section, or I think on Twitch is on the side, but make sure to drop the comment if you have any question for our guest or for Lorenzo and Yalmar. Uh, not to me, I will not answer any question today, sorry, but uh, feel free to join us in the game. <laughs> but to say a couple more things about that question on balancing, um... I think it, it kind of goes back to what uh, uh, Nicola was saying at, at, at the beginning, that we wanted to achieve a, a certain feeling before necessarily a system or a mechanic. And so what happened is that we knew that you know humans had to go for themselves. We, they, they couldn't play really as a team because each human wins on, on their own when they play the game. So, of course, they, they feel like the game is unbalanced because the, the aliens play together to hunt all the humans while the humans yes. have to... You know, they're even competing amongst them to reach the exits. So that, again, that, that kind of like purpose of, pur pur purposeful and balancing taps into that need of um, achieving a certain feeling uh, for the game. So in the meantime, I made a noise in J09. What? Yeah. I what? I don't buy that. What? <laughs> okay. Did you I snap a twig? I, I draw a card. Possible. <laughs> or maybe, you know, just and a branch you, fell off you, from the Yes, yes, tree. that's possible. And because I Poss don't, I, I really missed Brenta in the last period. You you hear a noise from the same space. Brenta is Luca. Uh, Luca, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh. Shame on you, Lorenzo. Confusing yeah. our audience. Sorry, sorry. So I zero eight. I zero eight. Yes. Okay. My so turn. It, all that, done. Second. No. I'm gonna ah, yeah. declare okay. an attack. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Luca, what? don't do it. Uh, Luca, uh, don't, do it. Luca <laughs> don't do it. I'm dropping it here. You see here the card. I'm dropping an attack in N zero nine. So whoever oh. human or alien is sitting in there, it's to be considered dead meat. <laughs> Dead meat. <laughs> is, there, is, there. <laughs> is there someone in A09, guys? N09. N09? Nobody. Nobody? No. Nobody. No. Ah, shame. Risky business. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, so, so this we have our first alien. Exactly. Yeah. So Luca is an Luca alien. Is an alien. Look, he's an alien. Look, he's an alien. <laughs> looks like an alien. Yeah. <laughs> looks like so, I, I think it, it, another interesting, talking of mm, game design, um, an interesting thing we, um, how can I say, we understood with time, but it's, it, it, and that is very true with this game, is that uh, if you have a fiction, and, and of course you're making a game, so you have to create rules around it. Um, if you can be um, as close with your rules to the fiction as possible, so to make it in a, in a, in a, in a way we could say na natural, uh, obvious, or that the players feel that it's something that it's natural to be done inside that environment, inside that fiction, it's, it's easier for players to remember. So you don't have to write like very long things about this or that rule because it plays correctly. It, it feels natural inside that fiction. Absolutely. And yeah. Like, that like is a very it's... important thing, I, I would say, in games in general. Yeah. Like a very simple thing is the aliens move two, move two spaces and the humans move one. You can understand that because thematically also it works. Like it's it's a very simple, I mean, example of that. But yeah. it goes, it starts with that, with those little details, you know. 
mm-hmm. where 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 you see that there is that kind of attention and giving simulation a kind of feeling of a, of a simulation so that you can um remember and and things feel natural Who's yeah, turn if, is you, it? if you can do it my do turn, that, your turn. no avoid, it's Shalimar. Avoid a lot of yeah it's, it's uh, uh, yes uh i declare a, a noise in uh, a08 and let me also point it out that Yalmar just talked about assimilation and it is a natural thing, you know? It sounds something like an alien might say. I don't know, it's just, <laughs> just my <laughs> thought. I don't know. It's your turn now, Yalmar. Show us your, your alien nature. Where did you where did uh, you produce the noise? Ma- Mario? <laughs> I, Wait, I Ma- Mario is here. <laughs> Everybody's the noises there. from I08. I08. Clearly, a party. I'm moving, in, uh, yes. I'm moving okay. in with Lorenzo. <laughs> Hello, Mario. I think I see a conga Hi. line in IO8. Yeah. So, <laughs> I will attack. Wait. Ooh. In O07. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go with the attack. Is there someone? Is someone there? Drop the bomb. <clears throat> Nobody. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I was right about the assimilation thing, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, really right. <laughs> I'm a natural this game. <laughs> Pietro, it's your turn. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, everyone. Gerard, I agree with you guys, thankfully. <laughs> the, the theme is strong and useful in this game, making gameplay feel intuitive. Thank you. So, yeah, great oh, job. Yeah. Sparse applause for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no! What happened? Nothing happened. I heard the scream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the uh, level of simulation. Dry, dry meme sound. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> you hear a noise in I08. No, oh, come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's a party. Are you joking, really? <laughs> What's I going mean, on? Against, Does someone against... attack there, please. If yes. you're there. <laughs> it's against any COVID rules. <laughs> uh, okay. Alessandro says a person with so many H letters in their name cannot be human. I knew it. <laughs> Yalmar, I have a feeling he's talking about you. <laughs> I mean, human starts with an H. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's my turn. No, it, yeah. yeah. It's your turn. Okay, now I want to ask you something about the aesthetic of this game, about all the, 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 the process of creating uh, a game in an almost complete black box with just few colors. And I would like to know where the idea came from. And Oh yeah, so, sadly, sadly and, we didn't see much here, but the game has a very unique art style. Yeah, I'm not sure we have so something you hear here to show in... that. Oh, ten. You can see it from the cards. Yes, but I cannot see the cards. You we cannot, cannot show the cards. cards. Yes. <laughs> Where's this noise? <laughs> oh, ten. And also this one. Okay. Yeah. Or, it, it, the fun fact oh. is that originally the whole. Uh, art of the game was uh, drawn by Luca. Yeah, I should I should have the original copy here. You, you might oh, yeah, still have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in the office. After, after my turn, I will I will go and search for it. Uh, it's it's my turn, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So okay. was it so bad, Luca, that the other guys decided <laughs> to kick you out and <laughs> hire someone else? Or yeah, that's kind of the, the nice way of putting it down. I say. Okay, no. stick figures and <laughs> tiny nice boats one. were not cutting it. <laughs> it was more. It was good enough for a pro, for our initial prototypes. Like, put it this okay, way. they were far from being any. 
And guys, 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 guys I, I attack in... Oh! Where? A, B, C, D, D. He I'll has do, to do the e, song. E, e, e in English. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. I, 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 ten. I ten. I ten. I ten. Like a Hyundai car. Yes. I Someone ten. there? Nobody there. A lot of people uh, everywhere. Nobody. Was there anywhere? Shame. Okay. <sighs> So we, now, we have example, all the aliens, guys. I, I'm yes. very tempted now about this last Nicolato's noise. Yeah, because because the, the one in J nine Sims could be could be fake. Why are you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> You're a human. <laughs> we are hunting you. Uh, that's what you suppose. You have no proof. <laughs> I'm gonna, Wait. I'm gonna take a silent move, so I'm gonna declare silence and not draw any card. Ooh. So, Mario, it's your turn now. Ooh. It's my turn. But the, to continue the conversation about the aesthetic, one thing that I remember clearly was like our effort to try to make this game already like try to bring some accessibility because we have so many like codes and we didn't want to rely only on colors. So we've been studying this system all based on the hexagon shape, like as a base a graphic element to try to communicate like human, aliens, dangers, not dangers, the different degrees of the characters, all the different shapes, every has to fit within an hexagon. And I remember that also Mario has been creating, like we took this, this uh, very nice typography, Mario created this custom uh, version of this typography, so to not confuse the O and the zeros. Yes. And uh, so, because like the amount of numbers and letters is otherwise overwhelming, so we made an effort to try to still keep it readable and understandable. It's and not, and not an easy I feat. Not an and easy feat when you in, have a map the, like that. In the in the first edition, you, you there was just two colors, right? Or no, because what do you, you, mean? you, you that, that in in the second edition, the one with Osprey, you added orange, and just in the rules, or there there was like oh. an, an, an addition of one color somewhere. If I'm not wrong, I'm just checking. Not I sure. Uh, no, I, don't I, I guess so. we, we, we did use orange in the original version for the icon of the items that you had to pick up. Ah, okay, that, that it was that. So yeah, so the game uses cyan, yellow, magenta, orange. Horrible aliens Horrible everywhere. Aliens True. everywhere. <laughs> yes. So uh, but yeah, we didn't to... say the Almar and Lorenzo are on the same team. Yeah. Yes. Yalmar, so <laughs> I have you know one use. what will happen. We will lose. Yeah. I, I feel like um, they're all over, and they are faking a Ma party. <laughs> Mario. Mario. So I pick up a card, and it was uh, no noise, silence. Silence. Mm. You're using a strange tool, Mario. <laughs> yes, I'm. No, that's the me. Chain. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. I know it's it's a bit BDSM, but uh, it just went there. I'm not sure like what it. it is, it but I can't yeah, like like master there. too. So, Ma Mario, <laughs> where, where was your noise? Sorry, no, there was no, no, noise, noise, no noise, but I pick up a card. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's trying. <laughs> Lucky. Like, if I remember correctly, we also had in the prototype we had text on cards. Yes. And that was a problem oh, yeah. uh, with localization, and so we removed it. So we created a oh. text-free uh, a deck. Well, yeah, that's and, one way and, to and, solve it. And yeah. and uh, but we had to create even more icons. So that 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 part was moved to the to the manual. But actually, then we found a, a, a way to include the symbols in the sheets you have on the maps. And so you don't have to pick up the, ma uh, the manual, but you can always see all these symbols with you. 
they're always with with every player so that was a also a clever um, yeah. solution in order to remove text but at the same time you can see here you can see it in sort of yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, and there are also oh, many sorry. different maps, guys. There are also many different maps. We are playing on the the first the, on the traditional map, but there are many many other maps that changes a lot the feeling of the game. And you also created um, uh, an online tool to create. Uh, maps, yes, maps, right. Oh, mm -hmm. Luca, tell us about it. Tell us about the tool. Yeah, that you made. this was one of the first thing I ever did actually using. Like we did it with Flash, which is basically means now it's dead. Actually, it's gonna be dead in one month and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but the but it's still was, there. It's still it's there. Still there. <laughs> it's pretty good. Thank it's still available on the website. <laughs> It was a nice tool, actually. Just click around and try to drag in inside uh, some special um, cells. It was working pretty nice, and you could make an export of a PDF out of that. For being like completely ignorant about writing code, that was probably the only exercise I ever made successfully on some <laughs> kind of an interface. Oh, and also, this was 2010. This was like prehistoric years for board game uh, and PC together, right? Yeah. It was well, a different yeah, oh, yeah. world back then. That's true. Um, so, uh, yeah, the time I was did... pretty new. Like, we had to write it on the box that there was an online editor. It was a, it mm. was a pretty weird thing. It was a new thing people <laughs> weren't doing. And someone in the community, like on Board Game Geek, has made an HTML5 version of the editor oh. that's that works. So you've got to check that out. Well, we'll, so it's, we'll tweet it's about it or we'll post it somewhere. And I, if, not, if I'm not wrong, some of the of the maps that are included in the second edition were made by fans or? Some of them were selected. Uh, so were, were selected, yeah. right? OK. And included in the, in the new edition. Can, can I think I, can I just on? ask? Can I just yeah. ask, what do you see in a map? How how is it interesting in regard to another map, for example? Because I'm completely new to this game, so I look at this ask. one just to give you an idea. Okay, that's claustrophobic. Yes, <laughs> I can yeah, see you, that. You, you can imagine that the gameplay is completely different here. Yes. It's... So everyone, I have some big news. Ooh, let's hear it. I am using an item. No. What? Okay. That's a that's a, um. What's the English name of it? <laughs> a pill? Sedatives. A sedative. Sedatives. Okay. Sedatives. What well, that means is, I'm gonna move in this turn, and if if I decide to move on a dangerous sector, I'm not drawing a card. Cool. Okay. Is it because you're high as? As F or because everyone else is? <laughs> because I'm very so. quiet. Oh, okay. And it depends on the on the pills. It it yeah, it's like the odds depend. Okay. Yeah. You're, also, you're, you're very you're very calm. Better. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so you don't move leaves. Oh. You don't. Yeah, yes. You don't move <laughs> you're you're high as a kite. You're higher than leaves. <laughs> I, I have a question. <laughs> I, I have a question. Uh, a question for you guys. I have a question what for you it? guys. Uh, it's my turn. Now there yes. is. Yes, now that, that now is there the is. End. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Silence. Silence. Not going to guard. Silence. Uh, ah. So Sorry. there are a lot of a lot of roll and writes and and pen and pen and pencil. I mean pencil and paper. Pen and paper uh, <laughs> games today. Right. <laughs> There is like uh, an explosion of, of those, but back in the days, it was not like that. Did you play some something similar? I mean, using paper and pens to play, or how did you come to the idea? How I mean, the answer is no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Battleship. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, exactly, Battleship. Yeah, probably the closest thing was Battleship. 
Uh, but it, actually, the fact that it's pen and paper, it was an issue back then because before uh, meeting with uh, Lorenzo Silva and what was kind of creation uh, back mm -hmm. then, uh, we tried to go to other Italian publishers. We went to Luca Games and other places to pitch our game and to some we also uh, left some of our prototypes we were printing ourselves. And everybody was really thrown off by the fact that it was a pen and paper game. Everybody was saying, uh, this, 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 this genre, it's, it's not, it's not on the market anymore. We, we don't think it's going to work too old. Yeah. Everybody was asking for where are the miniatures? Where are the tabletop? Like, yeah. Where is the board game part? Okay. And we also have a funny story about Luca during a demo match. <laughs> <laughs> Luca killed, killed the publisher that was evaluating the game on the third round. Well, was he killed him in the game, it. folks. So and yeah. if be, I'm, be calm. And this if was I'm not wrong, the game. You, you also stand up screaming at the face of the publisher. <laughs> like, I killed you! <laughs> That's partly true. Okay. <laughs> Not 100% accurate. Okay. It's your turn, Lore. The publisher. No, uh, you, I, I move in in a, in a secure sector. So All right. I don't know. Okay. But if I'm not wrong, there was a version where you tried to use uh, a central map with tokens and cubes. There was something like that, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's similar something to we what we're doing now. It. Yeah, it's similar to what we're doing now. Okay, I'm drawing a card. Everybody had their own sheets, but there was also a central map and you could you could place uh visible tokens like in the same way we're doing now so there was like a this sort of a shared uh map in the center of the table but it was more of a of a um, you know decorative reminder than, than anything else okay um, uh, the only design the, thing that, that there was to it is that the, the map was colored and not black and white mm -hmm. and the color were uh, showing the um, area in which aliens could attack in the first turns, which is the, the okay. which are the most dangerous turns. Yeah. So I declare a noise in M13, Minnesota 13. Ooh. Ooh, so now it's Mario's turn. Thanks. And our revealed aliens so far are Lorenzo, Yalmar, and? And there's one more. And Brent, Luca. Yes, Luca. Luca. Oh, yes, Luca. Yeah. Who was pretending not to be an alien a real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, real well. Okay, Mario? So I pick a card and it's a silence again. Oh, lucky man. Wait, pick the right card, please. <laughs> I will try, look, I will try. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Mar yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mario, you go. To, to say something more about the, the pen and paper is that uh, the fact that, as Pietro was saying before, we were not, um, we were playing board games, of course, every, everyone was, but we were not experts and we were not uh, dead into uh, the board game um, scene uh, uh, <laughs> in, in that moment. And that, and we were, we could say we were naive in many ways, but the fact is that if we knew it, it, if we knew more about that world and if we were really into that world, we probably would have not developed a pen and paper game because we would have been um, 
it wouldn't we, we would have the same uh, issues about it that the publisher had but we didn't know we, it was not yeah. a thing for us it was not uh, uh, out of fashion it was nothing it was just the way it, it came out it was natural to be with this with these tools and so we supported it and probably if we we, we were part of that that world back then we would have not done it but actually, that's what makes this game so different because you can play it sitting on a sofa. You, oh yeah, that you, was a big one. I mean, yeah, that's 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 the big thing. Also now, I mean, you see it that there is a resurgence of of those of those games. So I think this gave a lot of points to this product. The thing that it was another way to play. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the deduction game. It's not really. I mean. It's, yeah. yeah, it was just so ahead of its time, basically. Futuristic, <laughs> one, one might say. Yeah. Basically. Uh, Yalmar, did you make a noise in P10? Yeah, I did a noise in P10. Ooh. Go Pietro. Interesting. I am in a secure sector. Hey. Mother. Hey. At first. Let's, <laughs> let's remind the folks at home uh. that we are live. And they can <laughs> comment down below, and we will read the comment online. So if you have any question for our designers, for our guests, and for Lorenzo and Yalmar, just make sure to hear uh, to, to make yourself here in the comments. Nicolò, okay, Nigo. Sector, sector as well. Mm. <laughs> what was that, Lorenzo? Mm. <laughs> I know where you are. <laughs> I hope not. Okay. I am in a secure sector. Oh, sorry. Skippan says, is this streaming on Facebook? Yes, we are live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch all together. Yes. So you no, can follow us on our social sector? media. I'm in a secure sorry, sector. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have a very interesting review here that says the map structure is awesome. 10 to 10. Signed, a B. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stefano. <laughs> Thank you, B. Uh, okay. I have candle love. I rarely use them, but I have the candle love. No, we have the fake laugh. Yes. I'm declaring a noise in K14. Aha! Uh -huh. So going? far, I'm gonna have to move going? my camera. Uh -huh. What? What are you doing? Why? I'm hunting just... humans. I don't know what you guys are doing, <laughs> but I'm down there and I smell humans down there. <laughs> <laughs> he must, he must have found a bike yeah. of something. Yes, okay. exactly. <laughs> Behind the leaves, you know, under the leaves, the big pile yeah. of leaves. Okay, so Mario, it's yes, you. it's my turn. And guys, I will attack in H07. Oh my god. Oh my so god. So let's see. What? Let's wait, see. wait, wait, what? wait, wait. 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 What? What? You have to use an, an item. What? No, oh, I don't have human. to use a, uh, an item. Oh, uh -huh. we got the power. Okay, so. No, he's the soldier. Or maybe, or maybe Luca or maybe. is a human and Mario is an alien. Oh my, gosh. How is this oh my god! If you're not an alien, what happened? Or maybe we are all okay. aliens. <laughs> Special <laughs> power. Guys, guys, I'm not sure that, that I prepared the, the, the decks yeah. in the yeah, right like way. The setup, like the setup, you know. Okay, all the aliens, <laughs> just raise your hand, please. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, what? I, I, no. <laughs> you actually fell for it? Like, for I, real? I'm not, I'm not 100% <laughs> sure. Yeah, actually, uh, I think I, I, I missed one thing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yes. I, I, was, okay. I was changed to an alien. <gasps> oh. And you, uh, you don't have to, to say it. I think you, you do have to say it. Yeah, you let me check the manual. Play. Yes, real quick. Yes. Thank you. But yeah, you have to. Oh. But it was not an object. It was inside of the deck of cards. So 
Uh, yeah, okay. it's, it's objects are are inside <laughs> of silence are included yeah. in the silence uh, yeah. deck and um, are declared as silences. No, 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 no. The objects are used announcing them. Uh, and then, yes, but when you draw I, them, you, you should. Oh no, when you draw them, yeah. When you use them, so Maria, you should have announced. Ah, uh, sorry. You were, yeah, you right, right, right. It's okay. This this is an interesting. We forgive you. Which which leads to another prototype uh, thing because hold on hold original... on was someone there no just to be sure no. okay. which one was the sector where I mean, Maria attacked H07 H07 yeah, there, 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 are, there are no humans left so there were no one <laughs> only two humans guys <laughs> Pietro and, Nic and Nicolò are humans go uh, yeah so, okay so I will just uh, try an attack in P12. No Let's one see. there, I imagine. No. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Secure sector. In in the original prototype, uh, which the there was the the main way to play was was a with not declaring used items. Okay. That's why we still have issues today between us in declaring <laughs> items, because we played a long time not declaring them, which, to be honest, it's still our favorite way to play. Yeah, I think true. everybody agrees. But it led to some issues that we f did not feel comfortable to um, leave Publishing. in the original published game. But it's still uh, suggested as a possible way to play in the rules. Yeah. OK. Nicolau took a tab. Ah, yes. Yes, it's my turn. <laughs> uh, let me do this. I am about I to draw a card. Thing. Oh, okay. Please Holy. make a noise. Holy. Hey, the, card, the card is a <laughs> silence. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, why, 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 Nicolo, why Nicolo was turned into in, in, in Italian pith, uh, pith guy immediately? <laughs> Where is the accent gone? Uh, he has a good <laughs> accent. <laughs> and then it's Emotion. completely gone. Enough. Well... Yes. Well, weird. Uh, I answer that question. <laughs> L L L Lorenzo, is, is it? Yeah, yeah. I drew a card. Card. I drew a card. Sorry about my chain. I have no idea how to change it. To chain us. Right. Ch -ch 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 -chain. You hear a noise in a I I eleven. I I will never learn. How to say I? <laughs> you have to sing a song A B C S K T R S every time. <laughs> every time, yes. Was All it right, Metallica? I, I just moved in a silent <laughs> sector. Mario's your turn. Okay. Uh, Luca, uh, where is Pietro? I'm hunting him down. I'm hunting him down. But how <laughs> how do you know there. that he's down there? I can smell it. I can smell it. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand. The only noise that he did was in uh, I08. And M08 also. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Like during the party, yes. Then, then after I08, he, he took the uh, band of the sedatives. I know so exactly. he has one free sector. I think so he's hiding think? up here. I think he's hiding up here. What no, I, I think it's here. Somewhere here. Hmm. Anyway, wow. so I need to keep on attacking. Yeah, keep on attacking is a good strategy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly. <laughs> like three, three silent <laughs> rooms, one is after the other, which makes it pretty impossible to track him down at the moment. Well, okay, uh, we'll it's going to be uh, some not... island to tunnel. I will not attack, but I will draw a card. <laughs> 
These are my new <laughs> Jordi Troy. LaForge uh, glasses. Oh, that, no, that's another universe, Nicolo. We cannot <laughs> refer to that. Uh, sorry. So you must be, uh, you must be an original no character. I you can be no Bordi. Bordi. Sorry, Bordi, Bordi LaForge. Yes. Bordi. <laughs> yes. I hear a noise Sorry. in F08. It's there. It's there. I'm sure. It's there. It's, there. it's right there in your head. Go for it. Yalmar. Yalmarach. Mm. <laughs> I want some more noises. Yeah. Okay. I will draw a card. I'm sorry, Luca, what did you do? What, what, what did you do last turn? was a silent move, my last move, after three moves with the noise. And what about the... Uh, okay. And you hear a noise in N13. Ooh. M right. or N? N? N, N like... <laughs> N? Put a little... Naples. Put a little... Put a little hexagon, please. <laughs> put a little hexagon, please. <laughs> a blue one. Thank Bravo, you. Pietro, talk at that. All right. You guys are slipping back to the Italian at the phone. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. after one hour. After then... one hour of this, yes. <laughs> the Italian is trying so to sit in. You okay, hear yeah. a noise. You will see the noise is now. Is here. Is he? I told you. I told oh, you the noise is here. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That might be true. Okay, guys, we have to split. I go on Mario. Uh, no, yeah, but I'm not sure. No, I, I would I'm not. not sure either because it didn't make any noise. M08, O08. I am pretty sure it's up here. Yeah, but I'm how he didn't sure. make any any noise after like? Because he was in this tunnel. So back and mm. forth. Not back and forth. He jumped from here. He took a silent card. A silent. He said that even then he went into the tunnel. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's what he did. So he went here and then he went up there. This is the <laughs> tunnel clearly. And now he's gonna jump up here in Q4 and R4, and then try to make a move probably north. Nicolato, it's your turn. It's my turn. And I'm gonna do this. Ooh. Ah, come on! Yeah. Stop no, please. adrenaline. No. And I'm gonna Ladies declare card. silence without drawing any card. This card allows you to move one extra sector this turn. So, and the silence. Yes, no drawing silence. It's it's here. Here. Silence is here or here. What? what? It's down there. Okay, Silva. He's down there. Go get him. Mm. Okay. It's Who's me. Yeah. Uh, Let us talk about another thing of the game. Yeah. Which yeah, yeah. it's entirely, I would say, mainly, that was mainly up to Mario, <laughs> which was. <laughs> Uh, one of the the thing we disliked from board games were very oh, long room okay. manuals. No, wait, it's All my right. turn. I think it's my turn. Oh, no, no Luca, Luca. Uh, I it's already. Turn. Turn. Sorry. What, Nicola? The the manual? <laughs> Sorry. No, that one thing that we really disliked um, from uh, board games in general were very long uh, rules manuals yeah and I so agree. one of the things we tried to do was to make a readable but very compact and and well-designed manual yeah that would include all the rules in very few pages and with clear examples and i think that maybe not entirely because writing rules is always an issue but we spent a lot of time in making that manual and 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 mario spent a lot of time designing yes. the manual oh yeah and it, and being I able to, a to, lot of to make everything fit inside <laughs> this actually, very few pages first... it's actually like three pages four pages including yeah. the cover of the manual i'm declaring a noise in rome zero five 
Oh. 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 Mario Giacomo. Ah. My turn. And then I will tell you something more about the first version of the manual. <laughs> um, okay. Which, which was about as long as the Divine Comedy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I pick a card, but there is no noise. Okay, okay. come on. Okay, Yalmar. So it's my turn. I will yeah. attack Yalmar. R12. Yes. Ooh. Go for it. Yes. Da, 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 da. Quark, quark, quark. Nicolo? Nine. <laughs> what? We are going fishing, guys. R12. Yeah, I'm, draw I'm drawing a card. Nope. Uh, I had silence. It's... Oh, come on. No, oh, come on. <laughs> Nicola. Guys, does, uh -huh. is this the Moquette uh, spaceship? Sorry. Yes, yes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they stepped in, in the carpeted area, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the exhibition center, yes. The spaceship crew is 100% Italian, as the name of the spaceship itself, Selva, inspired Not by Silva. the second verse of Dante's Inferno. I thought it was because of me. Yes. <laughs> Not Lorenzo oh, Selva, oh, that's oh, you, yes. Oh, <laughs> you always lied to me. <laughs> it was just a typing, a typing error, yes. It should be Silva, yes. Woo! <laughs> We will call it silver. Woo! So, <laughs> I declare a noise in a place I am not. What? Which is <laughs> what? Thank you. No. D zero two. What? 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 No. Uh, please <laughs> don't tell <laughs> me it's true. <laughs> Lorenzo, go and get him. I, I, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> Just call a cab and go and get him. <laughs> I will need like 15 rounds probably. Yes, that's fine. It all okay. It's me. I attack in. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Here it is. In R. 13. That's a good Someone move. there? Nicola? Nope. Ring a bell? No. <laughs> He's on the other side of the map. <laughs> <laughs> I was already there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's my turn again. Uh, oh, gosh, guys. Mm. Gonna draw a card. Yeah, th thank you for showing us. <laughs> and and it's silent. Sorry about that. What, what's the proportion of silence in in the, in the deck? Ninety nine percent. No, thirty three percent. Okay, it's one third. Yeah. Okay, it's my turn. I will take a card. Uh, so let's talk about uh, when we won the best game of the year. Uh, I'm joking. We never did. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk, let's talk best, about best something else. Yeah. Category, right? <laughs> Let, let's talk yes. about when when we when we produced the first print run that was two thousand copies uh, with Cranny Creations, and we mm. had to hand make every single copy ourselves ourselves yeah. in like 2000 oh yeah 2000 copies okay. we had we had to count the maps like 20 maps eight <laughs> pen <laughs> no the, the worst part was pen, wasn't fan were pencil it was Pencils, like, yeah. <laughs> and the crazy part was that we didn't ask to produce them already bundled in eight Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had to actually create eight pen, pencil, put uh, an elastic pen around, and put it inside of a box. 
How, how many so, hours of our life it took? So, I don't know. I remember just that I also used my sister to come there and help <laughs> us to do this stuff. So like it was like a sweatshop. Oh. <laughs> yeah. it was a sweatshop. It was we, a sweatshop. We were we were also using the machine to put like plastic around shrink the boxes. Wrap. I remember. Yeah, the, oh. the shrink wrap. Yeah, we had mm. to buy one to 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 seal all the copies. And, yes, and I just want to remember here. that there was a limited edition of the game with Ooh, the yeah. white with the white box that. that oh, also that oh, one we had to make. Uh, it, it was handmade. Also, also the the the, the um, how do you say the, the the coverage of the box, the yeah. the white paper around the box was a big sticker that we had to attach to every single box one by one. How many? It yeah. was five hundred. Yeah. Yeah, five hundred. Five hundred. I see. That I still I have I, wound on my hand. I think the worst part uh, was actually to um, place that little piece of paper to cover the, uh, <laughs> oh, the yeah. box, because we had printed one version only, and it was in Italian. And so, if you had the version that was in English, you had to have this white piece of paper that was covering the the, the logo, yeah. and written another way fun by the way uh yeah. i hear a noise in uh, e03 e e e, e, e up, zero up three over there over there no way yalmar your turn uh, uh, i will draw a card i like that song <laughs> What's that? Okay. Sorry. Um you don't hear anything. Oh. Okay, silence. Not even a song. By Pietro. Pietro. Um Oh, sorry. Go go Ghostbusters. No. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't. Wrong other fiction. other universe we cannot refer to <laughs> them. Wrong fiction. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Especially oh. wrong, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But Lorenzo, tell us more about uh, uh, Giulia Ghigini, who were then hired for uh, the final uh, illustrations of the game. Yeah. It's, yes, uh... Lorenzo, tell us more about Giulia. I need to know more. To Where is she? Julia. Why she is not here with us? <laughs> I because could have commented so much over there. Happened. We invited her already two times. And yes, but yeah, she is the artist of, of the game, and the the work she she did here is completely different from from what she usually do. Uh, she is the artist of Potion Explosion, uh, and Dungeon Fever. Fighter, Unicorn Fever, and. With this game, I think that she suffered a lot doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to see where Peter is dropping the noise. He's like floating about the whole board. <laughs> okay. I'm really tense up. Peter, drop it. Drop the bomb. No, it's the a hell? fake. It's a fake. <laughs> All right. C05. Four. And if, you, if you're both there, only one of you will can use this cape pod. So... That would be Sorry unfortunate. Like, who <laughs> designed this <laughs> skateboard? So it means they are both uh, in the number two, probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Nicola. Show us your true position. <laughs> so Mario declared a noise in E03, right? We are not yeah. interested. Nobody's interested what noise declare Mario. We only want to know <laughs> your noise. I am interested in what Mario made. So let me flip this card and I declare noise in E03. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Oh. What, Yalmar, what did you do your last turn? I moved and Sorry. didn't produce anything. Lorenzo. Guys, we have a special we have a special question. Uh, can we have a leaf blower item card as a 10 anniversary promo? I think that's a, an amazing <laughs> idea. 
<laughs> Approved. Yeah. Yes. It's canon. <laughs> it exists. It's coming. <laughs> okay. Well, we made in, in the last run uh we made with osprey we uh introduced some new cards that were suggested by players like okay. the cat was the leaf blower there no Not yet. it wasn't so the windows is still open hold yes. on let me hear this was the gelatina scoop there gelatina no? ice cube Yes. Not yet. I, I can see a new expansion here, guys. Hear me out on this. So you have to know that Toy is a great fi f fan of gelatinous cubes. Like, okay. who isn't? I mean, who isn't? <laughs> My mom and... has a pastry and they make them if you want. Oh. Lorenzo, did you move? I move and uh, I draw silence. All right. What? I am going to attack. Ooh. Well, in oh, sorry. Five. I'm dead. What? what? Really? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? No. Oh, I told you, Luca. I told you the theater was fishing up there. <laughs> I've never seen someone so happy screaming, I'm oh. dead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It wasn't the face of, uh, of the publisher, actually. No. Like, the last time that I've seen Luca kill somebody, it was exactly that. that his expression was exactly the same, but uh, the publisher less like Pietro. So, All right, so, guys, let's, let's also thought... hand down Nicolotto and let's end this. So, Pietro, can I, can I take... let me leave one second of, of what happened for the people following at home. So, yeah. I, was, I was thinking, so I knew, I knew Luca was around there. But I thought he would attack in S06 because he would think Pietro is never going to be stupid enough to go to S05. <laughs> and so I went to S05, hoping he would attack in S06. And I had a flamethrower item that I was going to do the best move <laughs> in the world with the next turn. But I didn't get to use it. Cool. What's happening with... Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I, <laughs> I think someone is trying to, to send us a message, maybe. <laughs> Is this permanent? Is it gonna be there forever? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 thankfully, no, no. <laughs> Seems to be impossible. So many mysteries this, about tabletop okay. simulators. Okay, so, so Pietro, you are an alien now. So only I'm Nicolò. An alien now. Yeah. Holy so everybody was Nicolò's alien. Is it my turn? <laughs> no, it's Mario's turn. Ah. Okay, guys, I attack in E03. No, come on. What? You there? Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm dead. What? Yeah! No! <laughs> Where? Was it? Was it a fake noise, Mario? Oh yes, baby. <laughs> oh, come on. Mario, what a trap! This is really good move. Well done. This, this Mario, you good. did you did the best left <laughs> ever. Yeah, this this was really good. <laughs> Yeah, because actually I, I over counted there... and I and I said to myself, he should be one move behind E03. No, actually, oh. but I then was... again, I thought maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. I've, I've missed some turns, so yeah. he's probably right. I'm gonna go there so he cannot attack there. Yeah, and... actually, I was at uh, H04 before, then F03. When I declared the E03, the noise, because yeah. the D02 for me was too far <laughs> off for your uh, path, and I was like, "Now it's impossible that he's there in the eighth turn." No, and I so, was there in D02 mm -hmm. because it ah. took it adrenaline and it did two spots in one turn. Where did you come? Was coming from? I did H H3 uh, H2 G2. E2, okay. because it took the adrenaline, so it went straight to E2. Yeah, you went there. And D2. And why, and and why you went back? Because I thought you were there, so you could not attack me there. I went to your place. <laughs> oh, geez. Because wow. I, I thought... <laughs> you didn't there. do that on purpose? <laughs> I thought no, you, I... You, you did that on purpose. Okay. To lure, to lure me in and 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 attack me the turn later, which is, which is a really good move, actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, I was basically one one step back. I was here, I went to this one, and that's it. Guys, oh. Matteo asks, after putting together those first 500 copies out of 2,000, let me remind you, did you consider changing your name into Santa <laughs> Pacienza? <laughs> Saint Patience? <Yes. laughs> Beata Ignoranza was also one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's just for our Italian folks out there. <laughs> Guys, I just want to let you know that me and Yalmar we're down here having a party in the <laughs> yeah, it is so good. Hey, is there anybody out there? Are you relative? No. I, I think there is a funny fact about this game because when I, I think it tells something about what you think about humans, because when the aliens win, everyone wins because mm -hmm. everyone becomes an alien. But the humans are so yeah. so selfish, you know? <laughs> Said the know. alien. Thank you, Yalmar. Thank you very much. It's <laughs> really honest, all about making friends. <laughs> to be honest, when, when, we, when we when we had to publish this game, we had some 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 doubts about the the victory conditions. And after ten years, I have to say that it's brilliant, <laughs> and it's very original. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Pietro. That's just because you won, Lorenzo. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> yeah, I won. It's a yes. we won. You I we mean, won. I mean, and just because of Luke and Mario, not, yeah. not because <laughs> of my talent. No, of course. Just because other players' mistakes. <laughs> we were together in Nowhere Land, okay? Yes. And we still won. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I really won too, and I just died. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Amazing. you feel like you yeah. won. And as Ale says, a win is a win, right? Yes, that's, that is the first time for anything. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, it's been I a blast. Think... Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for coming and for playing with us. Thank it you. Was, I have Still to say that. Forward for the highlight version of the video. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think that you want to, to watch one hour and a half again. <laughs> but and also, right. also the game had a very increasing tension and it was super, super cool and, and, and a great ending. So I'm sure that we will have a very cool highlight version of this episode. So make sure to follow us on our social media, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Uh, guys, what's in store for Santa Ragione in the next future? Do you want yeah. to give us uh, any preview or any sneak preview? So actually, uh, 10 years later, we're going back to the horror genre, and we're making a horror video game this time. Uh, there is a, <laughs> an adventure survival horror game called Saturnalia, which the item which uh, takes place in Sardinia at the end of the 80s. And it's going to come out next year. And actually, uh, we are co-developing it with the support of Horrible Games. So that's Ooh. a big one. And yeah. I don't know that company. I know yeah. Horrible Guild, but never heard of Horrible Games. <laughs> Horrible Guild. Oh, my it's God. It's the same. It's the same. Can we, can we cut this in the highlight? <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. I tried to do it in the live, but it's a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Okay, yes, guys, thank you very much. So, and make sure we will, to. We will make a new board game just to. so we can come back here. Oh, and also, sure. Leaf it. Blower promo card, guys, is right there. Of course. I mean, yes. 10, 10 year Mario. anniversary. Luca, uh, prepare the illustration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. And you can just screenshot that. We're going to cut it out from the highlights. So if you stay that with, with us so far, you can screenshot that and use it as a promo card. Yes. That is valid. It is canon in the universe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you very okay, much, as, uh, the whole team of Santa Ragione. And thank you very much, Lorenzo and Yalmar. And thank make sure, you. as usual, to follow us. As I said, there will be a special highlight version of this episode that is usually last 10 or 2, 15 minutes, full of the all nonsense that happened so far. <laughs> and uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I'm Toy. I'll be the director. And I'd say good night or good afternoon, depending on where you're watching this. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.